Hello, my beautiful Pisces. How are you today? We're getting ready to do your love reading. My name is Donna Wilder Hart, and this is my channel, Irish Donna Tarot. Let's get started to see what messages Spirit has for you about new love. Pisces, look at this reading. It's very interesting, and it's different than my other new love readings for the month. I'm going to get into the details, but let's look and see what Spirit is calling for you to do about this. This fits perfectly with what I'm seeing here. Bobcat Spirit, life is a mystery. I feel as though right now you are finding your way in the dark, so to speak, in love. Otter Spirit, you are never alone. Spirit is always with you. Look at this beautiful otter's play. This really tells me about the quality of what you're attracting. You're playing, you're attracting someone with whom you can really play with in life. It's a delightful watery energy, right? Otters playing in the water. You are being called on for forgiveness at this time. Nothing can be gained by holding on to past disappointments. Oh, this is so resonates with the rest of the reading. All right, so I'm getting that on a day-to-day -day basis, your energy in the recent past was very practical. You're, you're focused well. You know, when you get up, you put your feet on the ground, you're able to, to take into account this sort of Taurus energy. Many of you are very <clears throat> focused right now on building wealth, on building a savings account, on feeling secure. And I feel as though that's your focus more than new love at this time for many of you. You want to be grounded. You also want someone who's going to give equally to you. The Six of Water tells me it's it's usually a reunion card. And I find it to be very interesting with this reunion card, with the soulmate card. We also have the Hermit and the High Priestess. Now, I don't usually do this in a reading. I don't usually jump ahead, but I find it so striking that you're missing someone terribly. It is a new love reading, so you may not know the person very much, but new love can also mean a new beginning in love with somebody with whom you've had a tie, a relationship. The reason I say that you're missing someone is we had two outcome cards pop up together we have the High Priestess who's in separation. High Priestess is typically, it's like a sequestered nun, quote unquote. It's divine spiritual energy. And the Hermit card, which is very practical energy. The Hermit card is Virgo energy. It would say that possibly you may be in separation with your significant other through no fault of your own. The Six of Water says that is Scorpio energy that you're waiting for a transformation in love in a relationship. The Eight of Air speaks to the energy that you're sort of letting go and letting God. The Eight of Air says that you are in your head, but it's also about, I can't do anything about this, self-imposed restriction. There is no proper action that I am intuitively or spiritually called to make at this time. So I'm going to as Kenny Rogers would have said, know when to hold them and when to fold them in a poker game. So in the game of life, you are just holding right now. The nine of fire is showing me that you have something really beautiful. You are willing to go through whatever you have to go through to get this, this star quality in your love life. The Nine of Wands is always the warrior that's willing to power through. In the darkest moments of the night, you know what you're going after. You know what you are pursuing. You know where your spirit is at, and it's these beautiful stars in the night. Many of you may really like to look at the stars. You may be into astronomy. But this is a card of deep hope deep willpower, a deep willingness to, to keep going until you are manifesting fully what it is that you dream of. The messenger of fire is a page of fire. It tells us very much that you are having very passionate 
interactions with someone. That's the sexy text message, baby. <laughs> it's really beautiful, but it's also lifting someone's spirits during the day. So again, I feel very much, you know, this really is speaks to me because I, I have a military family um, military history and background. This really speaks to me that for some of you, this is simply a loved one is away and you're waiting for that new beginning. For others of you, <clears throat> you may be in separation temporarily, but it speaks to your, your soulmate, the two of you doing your work, you know, really coming together that you may be in separation because of COVID or at a distance. When we look at the three of water, we see celebration. Celebrate good times because they are coming. The three of cups, your best friend celebration. Now is not the time for the celebration, but it will be here in the near future. The moon card. Oh, look at this beautiful moon card. Pisces, this is your ruler. You're in your own reading. You keep your emotions to yourself. You feel as though you're sprinkling stardust <clears throat> when you're alone. You, you really know exactly what you're doing. I feel as though you have some spiritual practices or meditation that really help you find that peacefulness. You feel very much that your soulmate is the only person for you, period. You are truly not open to meeting anyone that you haven't met yet. For some of you, that won't be the case, but for the reading as it applies to those who are, you know, tuning into this and resonating with it, and if not, check your moon rising in Venus, we see the beautiful soulmate energy. This is Gemini energy. This is the soulmate card. You have found your soulmate. They may be very different from you, but you don't want to ever leave your soulmate side again. You can't wait. You have this huge celebration. Messages are going to be the plans that are being made. You're working hard. You're waiting for something because a nine of fire is that battle. And I feel it right now. It is a pandemic battle for many on a second level. You know, we can't fly. We can't move around the world like we want to. But you have a beautiful celebration coming in. Of course, I clarify everything for you. But the soulmate card says that you and your soulmate are in contact, but you're also not on the earthly plane in the same place. Spiritually, you are very much together. Um, forgiveness does indicate that there's been some pain. You know, sometimes people make decisions and they don't really mean anything negative. But what I'm seeing is that your soulmate may have made a decision to go someplace where in which they got stranded in which, you know, they're stuck there at this time. Again, it can be, you know, the coronavirus itself. But we see this beautiful energy, Cancerian energy, the High Priestess energy, so, so intelligent, so gifted, so Cancerian energy, which is also ruled by the moon. You have a very high level of intuitive conversations. I feel as though you're telepathic. The Hermit card says that you're both sequestered alone. In, and in your celebration, the two of you will move into this position of manifestation for your celebration. The two of you will be alone together. You will close out the world. You will close a big door and you will just nurture each other and love each other and celebrate and savor the mysteries of life. Things happen for a reason. You're never alone. So really, really beautiful energy for you. So let's look and see what the clarifiers are. So Spirit, what do we have to tell our beautiful Pisces friends? What can we share with Pisces to ease the journey, to have a better, more calm sense of love, happiness, joy, and expansion. All right. The six of earth is here. The four of pentacles holding on to your money. You're saving money. You're working hard for your money. Beautiful. Okay. What is the six of water about here? The seven of wands. Oh, 
<laughs> Pisces, you're super attractive and you are not letting anybody in. People are flirting with you. People are trying to get your attention and you're like, you know, no, 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 no. I'm okay. I'm over here. You know, I'm carrying the torch literally for someone else. Eight of air. Nope, I'm not open. I'm not going to respond. <laughs> the moon card, you'll leave everybody to themselves to figure it all out. The nine of pentacles, here you go. Again, this is a card of being single, but not wanting to be single. You are preparing for union. Uh, you're doing it separately at this time, but when we get the Three of Cups, that is a celebration card. It's a party card of something that is like a wedding or an engagement. The Three of Water is celebrating with our closest, dearest, and nearest friends. And this wanted to flip. The chariot card, when the time is right, you will move forward very rapidly without hesitation. Cancerian energy. So you have someone with whom may be a Cancer, could be another Pisces like yourself, but I feel it's more likely a Cancer. But this person knows what they want. The two of you know what you want. Scorpio energy says that the two of you will um, rise from the ashes in your relationship with the reunion with this beautiful celebration with you know going off by yourselves for at least anywhere from probably nine days to three weeks or two weeks nine of fire why is a nine of fire here for a beautiful pisces pisces what does spirit want to say to you a card flipped i think it was the ace of swords that i saw go by Let's see. It is. Okay. The Ace of Swords. You have complete clarity. The Ace of Swords is all about truly understanding, having the absolute clarity of what you want and not being, not drifting at all. You have clarity. You are staying the course. You are doing the work. Whatever you are called upon to do at this time to help the relationship flourish in the absence of your lover or beloved. Um, what we see is that you are succeeding. The Fool card, you are waiting for just a word so that you can take your adventure. To me, that also speaks of travel. For some of you, the Fool card going off on a new adventure. Aquarius energy, very enlightened energy. There's a lot of communication going on between you and your person telepathically, but also in a literal sense. Messages going back and forth. Why are both of you alone? What happened to create this situation? Maybe Spirit will tell us. Hopefully they will. What is going on with our beautiful Pisces and their person? And what's going on? This love may not be very old. Another way to read this would be that you've met somebody online for whom you have not met yet that is going to be a divine partner and a soulmate and that you're at a distance and in, in separation because you haven't come together quite yet on the physical plane. King of Cups, Scorpio energy. This is a love that is going to just grow and transform into something beautiful. Both of you are very, you have Pisces, Scorpio, and Cancer, the Grand Water Trine. You have a flow of emotion and energy that's quite beautiful, quite stunning, and very fulfilling. The King of Cups energy, the Scorpio King, is very self-contained, loves very deeply, loves forever you know, also knows how to forgive, knows how to help love rise from the ashes, you know, understands that. So here you have the Scorpio King as the sort of guardian angel over the separation. So you are the Phoenix rising from the ashes and both of you possess this King of Cups energy. <clears throat> you don't have a need to fawn on all over each other except that you do. <laughs> you don't have a need for it, but you you do it with all that Cancerian energy. But it really says that the two of you have something magical that other people don't really witness on the surface, but it is there. They sense that it's there. And you have a be beautiful love that's really gone the distance. Why is the moon card here for Pisces? Moon card for Pisces in love. Pisces in love, Pisces with new love. It sounds like I, I live on a speedway. I'm just in a city. All right, King of Pentacles, beautiful. 
king of pentacles energy is taurus energy both of you are intuitively going after a relationship in which you have shared values you both love beauty and life you both love uh, nurturing one another the king of pentacles is a daddy card that you want to provide for your lover and your lover wants to provide for you you are mutually in this energy you know it it's very important to you again it's a taurus energy we have the energy of taurus here six of pentacles you know doing the hard work with capricorn energy six of pentacles saving money building a life together whirling it away all right why is the lover's card here for a beautiful pisces gemini energy why are you divine partners why are you soulmates why are you soulmates why are you soulmates okay ace of cups a love through the ages Ooh, beautiful beautiful the High Priestess, you have a lot of Major Arcana here also. The Moon, the Lover's card, the High Priestess, the Hermit card. Gorgeous, okay. So give us the information about this beautiful celebration for Pisces. What is a beautiful celebration for Pisces? What, tell us more information, Spirit, about this beautiful celebration. The hanged man, you're waiting for it. You're, you're biding your time. You're looking at things from a unique perspective. But the hanged man is Pisces energy. So you are looking at this in a very favorable way. You're hanging out. You're, you're willing to hang in there also until this comes into fruition, until you are with your person. What are the other messages for Pisces? This would also tell me it could probably be, it would be anywhere from 12 days or possibly 12 weeks or the month of December that the two of you will be physically together again. The King of Wands energy, lots of passion, lots of fire, Leo energy. So when you get together, you will make love all night long. You'll be very dedicated to each other. You will talk about everything like children and romance and what you want for the future and what how you want to create your life together. So let's look and see the, what Lion Mew has to say. Adventure is a message from Lion Mew. This is little Lion Mew, very cute. He is an adventurer, an explorer, a traveler. Hello, somebody's traveling. <laughs> and a seeker of lost worlds. He likes to feel the wind rippling through his fur and the excitement of not quite knowing what he might discover next. It is time to leave the safe havens of your comfy home and routine to seek out distant shores, <laughs> distant shores and unknown lands. Widen your circle of experience and step into a different point of view. Distance and diversity gives us a shift in perspective. Home never looks the same from afar. Remember the journey outward illuminates the journey inward. Life and your life, treat it as a grand adventure. Live your life as if it is a grand adventure. Sending you love from Chicago, Pisces. Send some back and tell me where you're from. Take care. Bye-bye.